One of the big things about Microsoft Teams that I find very, very important and very beneficial is the fact that you can chat to your students or to your fellow colleagues. And the chatting is the easiest thing to do and we're used to it, so there's no problem figuring this out. To chat, there are two places you can go. On the left hand side, in my sidebar, I can click on chat. Okay, that's the one. I'll show you what happens when I click on chat over there. You can see all my previous chats are here. Most of these are students, some of them are teachers, and some of them are chat groups. Now, the best part about chat is that it's private. It's between you and the person or people that you are chatting to. So let me show you how we do this. You can either go to chat, like I said already, on the left-hand side, and you can start a new chat. But I want to show you, up here is your little new chat button. You can click on new chat, and it starts a new chat window. The other way you could start a new chat is in our command bar at the top. And if you start typing a person's name or email address, it already starts searching for that person based on their name or email address. And you can click on that person's name or email address and you have a chat window right away. So that's pretty cool. So let's say I wanted to chat to Delegate01. It's just a default uh, fictional character I made for this demonstration. I went and I did chat and you can start typing it in there. Okay, there they are there. Done. So this is a one-on-one -on -one chat and what will happen is I will say something. There it is there and you will see it follows very much the same structure as like a WhatsApp or a Facebook Messenger thing. It's very similar to that. So it's very intuitive, very easy to work with. Now obviously Delegate, one, uh, Delegate 01 does not exist so they're not going to type back at this moment. But if they did I could then respond and we'd have a whole conversation going. This is what I really like about the chat feature though. In our chat that we're having together, I've got files that I can share with this person and they can share files with me. We can even work on those files together in our chat. In real time, we can collaborate on those files if they were editable. And this is really nice. And the files stay here in the chat. No one else has got access to this. It's just us. So that's how we work with the chat. Again, you've got all of your communication options here. You can attach files, you can attach videos, GIFs, etc. And it actually becomes really easy to do the same thing that you would do in a team conversation in a private chat as well. Very handy when you're working with students and you're working one-on-one -on -one in a chat situation and you can share files, they can share files and you can collaborate together. I also have the option to do two things. One, I can make a video call. I can call them and it'll be like a Skype conversation but with video, which is awesome. I can phone them, make an audio call. So instead of typing, we can talk to each other as if we were with voice over IP. And the last one I'm gonna show you, it's just beautiful. I can start sharing my screen. So watch this, I'm gonna click on this and it shows me all of my screens that I currently have open and I can pick one of them. So I can pick the desktop, I can pick another screen. Let's say I pick screen number two, which is another screen that I have and it starts sharing that screen within this chat. So Delegate01 will receive a message that I have started sharing my screen. They can then choose to accept that and they will then see my screen on their screen and I can demonstrate something to them. That is very handy. I use this in the group chat. I'll talk about that when I talk about the group chat in the next video.